So in my opinion, this is probably the coolest feature uh, that came out in Cura, and I believe it's on the models that are 2.0 or higher. So uh, anything beyond that, it will work. I'm going to be showing you how it works with 2.4 and 2.5. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and open up Cura. <clears throat> Once you open up Cura, I, of course, you want to load in some models. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and take these advanced or custom settings off. So we're just going to, we're just going to be working with the basic features that it comes with. Let's go in there and just set it to default and close. So now you notice this is just what Cura originally comes with. There's nothing really extra that's added on there, okay? <clears throat> so normally how things work is given that um, your printer might have a large surface area like mine does, I can do multiple prints at one time. So I'm going to go ahead and add some prints in here really quick just to show you guys what I'm talking about so the first model we're gonna add in here is going to be a cabal figurine from destiny okay made the sucker flat there it goes okay so once we get this leveled out we're going to just go ahead and move it into the corner so you guys can get a better view of it all right there we go perfect move into the corner sir Okay, and then we're going to load another model in. This is going to be a fidget that I had printed a little while ago. We're just going to move this into the corner here. And then let's go ahead and do a stand. I want to open up this folder again. And we'll go and do a keychain. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and close this up. Let's organize this so you guys can see it better. Okay, so normally what you would do is um, you would put your four prints on here and then go, you know, do your basic settings here, your diameter, of course, 1.75, flow at 100, retraction enabled, travel speed, we'll leave at 50, uh, print, I'm sorry, print speed at 50, travel speed at 120, of course, enable print cooling. Um, let's leave support off for now, okay? And I'll explain to you why. And then, of course, um, bed adhesion, if you want, you can do skirt. Uh, to get good first layer, guys, you always just want to do a raft anyways, so that works out. And we'll just go over those for right now. So these are our uh, settings that we have set, okay, for these prints. Now, normally you would print all of these with this exact setting so all of them will be the same um, this feature here allows you to set parameters for this print separately this print separately this print separately and this one separate and what I mean by that is you can change the temperature the infill the infill pattern uh, you can en enable support uh, retraction for each individual print okay now this is something that you will normally find in like programs like simplified 3d uh, of course it goes into more detail but for a free program I mean you can't really complain about it also another good thing about this is um, at this point I mean in my honest opinion I accidentally ran into this I think most people don't know about it uh, in Kira it's a very fairly new feature that got introduced um, so that's why I want to take some time and go over it the most beneficial part to this is you can print multiple prints same bed do uh, set parameter param, parameters for each one 
and print it at the same time. What does this do? It saves you from re-leveling your bed, taping it up again, putting the glue stick or hairspray down. You only have to do it once and it does everything. So it saves you a ton of time uh, on how everything prints so you can print them all at once. Okay, now for the moment you'll be waiting for, let's go ahead and go in here and I will show you how to actually set that in. So let's start with this cabal first, okay? So this one here, um, you, all you do is click on it, then you go down to here per, mo per model settings, okay? And then you hit select settings here. Cool, so these are the basic settings that comes up that you have on the right side. Now, if you just want to do the basic settings, uh, you just pick what you want. So, for example, we turn support off. Okay, on this one, I'm going to enable support. Also, um, I'm going to change the print speed, the flow, infill density, and the thickness, and the top and bottom thickness. Now, for those of you that know how to use the custom or expert or advanced settings on Kira, if you click here under show all, it'll bring up more options here for you. Okay, so I'm not going to mess with any of these right now. Let's see, what else can we change in here? Let's do infill pattern. Let's go and change that up. Now I noticed that instead of picking one and then closing it, because you can't change these right now you have to close this screen here and then you can go and modify it so I'd like to open it up pick all the settings that I want to change and then after that go ahead and change it up okay so we'll just leave this one for right now let's close it up now the wall thickness on the, on this one let's say I want to do one okay and uh, the top and bottom I want to do one again make it a little bit thicker infill density um, on this particular print this is going to be mainly for display but I don't want it to be too fragile so I'll just go ahead and do 10% and what kind of pattern would you like uh, on this one let's do triangles flow uh, if you want it to flow faster or do you want it to keep it the same flow um, I just leave it at 100 print speed this one, there's a lot of detail in here, so I'm going to change this to 40, okay? And do I want to able, enable support? Hell yeah, I do, because if you notice down here, it's going to need a whole lot of support right here by the foot and by the arms here, and the actual shield is going to need some supports here and here. Okay, so that was our settings on this particular one. So let's go and zoom out. Let's do this one next. Okay, let's print this, and uh, again, we'll just go with show all. And we are going to pick, you can do infill density on it. Let's do that pattern and let's do the flow let's do print speed and infill speed top and bottom layer speed and enable support and there was also another one which is under materials temperature perfect so these are the ones that we're going to change on this one. <clears throat> so you close it. Uh, let's start from the top. Okay. We are going to go with the infill. Now keep in mind this one here. Guys, if you just look at it, really doesn't need much. Um, it's basically, it just lays down. It's just a keychain. But I will be using it a lot. Is going to need to stand up to some tough um, testing because I will be throwing my keys everywhere, you know, and then if my kids get a hold of it, they're going to want to play with it. So if you notice, if you click on it, it will automatically bring it up. So infill density on this one, you know what, let's just do 50. And do you want to do, what kind of pattern do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to go with zigzag. 
and temperature I really don't care about the quality on this too much um, so I'm gonna print this at a little bit higher speed and the flow will leave at 100 but print speed we'll go ahead and change it to 60 well no you know what let's go ahead and change it to uh, 70 because like I said this is not something I'm too worried about on detail Infill speed, uh, I'll go 80 because inside of it, I really don't care what it looks like. Now, top bottom speed. This one, guys, always set it lower, okay, than what your print speed is. Normally, I do it by half. Only reason is because if you lay the first layer down, which is the bottom layer, really slow, nice and thick, it will give you better adhesion. Therefore, your prints won't fall off the bed. So that I'll go over later, but basically that's what this is. So I'm going to put it at lower speed. Support, I uh, shouldn't have really selected that because I don't need it. Okay, so that's done. Next, we're going to go here. Again, right here, select settings. And these are the basic ones that come up. If you want to see more, click on that. Let's just go over the basic one. Top and bottom thickness. Um, the flow, print speed, enable support, and wall thickness. And we'll just close that off. Oh, forgot one more thing. We're going to go to infill and pick the pattern. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you guys the different um, patterns on here. And show you that the settings are actually being saved so wall thickness will leave at eight uh, but since we have it here at eight let's go ahead and change this to a I don't know one again this one let's go do one again infill pattern let's do lines on this one speed uh, or the flow is going to be at 100. The speed, I'm going to leave it at 50 because I do want it to print a little bit slower. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and make it 40. Enable support, most definitely. So if you notice here, it won't show it to you right now, but there it is. Uh, it's going to print a little bit slower because it's going up and it's going to be support here, 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 and here. Okay, on this one, again, we go show all actually let's just take that off we're gonna go wall thickness we're gonna leave it we're gonna do top and bottom infill density um, I do want to show you a different pattern on this one so let's go to infill pattern right there take that off print speed and so we're going to go here to speed. I already picked the print speed. I'm going to do infill speed because I want that to be different. Okay. And on this one, I'm not going to enable support. So bottom, top, we're going to go one. Infill on this one. Since this is just a display piece where I'm going to put my ghost on, um, which is another prop from the game, guys. Um, I'm going to just put this at 10. And I'm going to go with grid on this one. Print speed, I don't really care about the quality on this on the outside because I can always sand it down. So we'll go 70. Infill speed, let's go ahead and do 90. Okay, now here you might get a little bit of stringing or whatnot. Um, again, if you want to go in there and change temperature, whatever you want to change, guys, it will let you change it right there. Okay, so that does it right there. And we are all set. Now, how do I know all these changes have been done? If you click here, you'll notice the parameters are different or the settings are different. Here, the settings are different. Here, settings are different. And here, the settings are different. Okay. Um, so now what we're going to do is just click on any one. And I will take you to layers. So you can actually see what I'm talking about. Now this little teal looking thing here, uh, that's at your actual support. So if you notice, I got support down here, support right there. But on this one, I didn't pick any support. And on this one, I didn't pick any support, even though we can use some there. Okay. Now, 
Let me move this around so you can see a little bit better. Okay. This is going to be the top view right there, and we're going to look at the info patterns that I told you about. There it is. You'll notice here we got a different pattern. Here we got a different pattern. If we keep going lower, right here. You notice the infill was different, so it's a little different there. The infill was different here. And the infill was different here as well. There it is. Each individual print has its own settings that you can use. And this should help you save on time and re-leveling re your bed and on your material as far as what kind of adhesion, tape, glue, well, you know, whatever you use. So, um, yeah, that's it, guys. I thought this was a really, really cool feature um, that I didn't know about. I just happened to run across it. And I just wanted to pass it on to you guys because I think this can save you so much time and effort. And, I mean, just to get... Each print, I mean, it takes five to seven minutes just to get your temperature up. It takes about three to four minutes to level your bed and get the tape on with the glue on uh, or the hairspray. So this does everything for you in one shot. I mean, how can you not like it? So again, just basically what we're going to do is I'm just going to go over it really quickly. Pick an item. Go down here to select per model. Click select settings. If you want the basics, it's here. If you know how to use the advanced feature, click here. And it will show you all the advanced features here. Um, I'm in the process of making an advanced um, features how to use video. I will have that out soon. Um, there's a lot to go over, so it'll probably be like a two-parter on that one. But uh, once you're done here, guys, all you would do is just save to file as a G code and just pop this sucker into your printer and guess what you're all ready to go there's no problems no issues unless it just tends to jump off the bed and your prints just fall over or something but that's on you I'm just showing you how to do different settings for each print okay alright guys one last thing before I go um, for those of you that are interested in printing some kind of a vase or a vase, whatever you want to call it, um, there's a special feature on here where it makes the exterior layers a little bit more smoother, which uh, you will find like in Simplified 3D and things like that. But what you're going to do is you're going to click on Special Modes right here on this little gyro type of deal, or sprocket, whatever you want to call it. And this is what you're going to pick right here. If you notice, it says uh, it smooths out the Z so it moves the outer edge of the outer edge this will create a steady Z increase over whole print and uh, basically what that does it just makes it a little bit smoother so what you want to do is you want to select that and just hit close and then when you go down to special modes here it will be available for you to pick and all you gotta do is just click it off and that's it and then you, it'll make your vase prints a little bit better. better. Okay? All right. Uh, again, if you have any questions, comments, something I did wrong, something you really like that I did, just leave it right below. Uh, if you have any concerns or videos you want to see, uh, again, comment below. And like always, guys, good luck and happy printing. channel.